Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. This will be a quick installation video and quick overview of the Razer Mouse Grip Tape for the Basilisk Ultimate Edition. So let's get right into it. So this is brand new from Razer. I purchased this right from their website for like nine bucks, pretty cheap, and it arrived in a couple days. So luckily with all the COVID stuff going on, they are still doing fast shipping. So I would recommend going checking it out. I have a link in the description below if you want to go check it out. I also found out it is on Amazon as well. So I'll more than likely have that link below because as you guys know, the two-day shipping from Amazon usually is better than any other thing out there, so recommend that one for sure. Now, essentially all this is, is just some rubberized grip tape that goes on your mouse to make it easier to hold, easier to handle. And if you're like me, I'm going to be honest here, after a few hours of playing a certain game or specific games that are more high intensive and you're moving the mouse around a lot, your hands are going to get sweaty, they're going to get clammy, and more often than not, it's going to get a little slippery on the mouse, which can be very, very annoying. So hopefully this helps to cut down on that and to help with extra grip for more competitive gameplay. So as you can see, the package is pretty minimal, pretty small, really skinny. It just has the grips in there and probably some instructions, uh, the install guide essentially. I'm hoping this will be pretty easy. I've never been good at applying stickers or decals to specific items, so this will be very interesting. So with that, if I do do this successfully, and it is easy, I'm not BSing, I'm not lying. So let's get right into it. One thing I did want to say, this also does work for the Basilisk V2 and the Ultimate as well as the Hyper Speed. So any Basilisk mouse will work with this grip tape. On Amazon's website, it states it works for the Viper as well, but I would not take that uh, to be true. I think they have a specific one for the Viper, so just keep that in mind. So let's take off the uh, tape right here. Looks like we just pull this back should just come right off there we go flip this open let's see razor.com and it looks like everything should just slide right out all right we'll pull that back and this should slide out there we go it's a little easier i don't think there's anything else in there yeah it looks like i got everything out so we'll put that to the side and as you can see we got the individual parts this is only for the top of the mouse as you can see there's already grips on the sides so there's really no need to put anything on the sides. It's really just for the top of the mouse. I do have it turned off as well, so I'm not accidentally clicking stuff on my keyboard or on my computer. So let's take this out. There we go. All right, we got all the protective coating and it literally is just stickers. So there is no real instructions. It's literally just follow this little guide here. So I'm assuming it's in the right spot. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, there we go. Now it's in the right orientation. So A, B, C, and D and it's showing you where they go on the mouse so let's take them off and this probably is going to be a time lapse because it's going to take a while and i don't want you guys sitting here for hours so let's get it done you also want to make sure this is probably pretty obvious but just in case you didn't know you want to make sure this is clean before applying any type of adhesive to it because you don't want anything any dirt grime sand whatever underneath the sticker because it'll peel off a lot easier All right, so we got one piece on there, and I don't know if I got on there perfectly because I can see it kind of curves down here. Maybe it's supposed to be like that, but I tried to line up as good as I could against the scroll wheel here on the side, but it actually feels really good right off the bat. It doesn't feel like it's going to slip around or come off very easily. It is definitely a nice adhesive, so it, like if you put it on the wrong way or if you mess up, you can peel it right back off. It's not going to stick to the mouse or leave a weird residue, so good on you, Razer, for using some high-quality adhesive. Uh, I didn't get it perfectly on the tip here, but again, this is more just for extra grip, not really to make it look any better. So just keep that in mind. So let's move on to the second piece. All right, that one went on a lot easier than the first one, I will admit. And I think it looks a little bit nicer too. It's a little bit more in place. So maybe after I take, a, you know, turn off the camera, maybe I'll fix this one. But for right now, it looks pretty good. I do kind of wish that this was one giant piece that just would go on here over the logo, but I understand they, they don't want to hide it. So yeah, that's why it's two separate pieces.
All right, first layer on the back done. Looks pretty good. So far, all the cutouts are the right sizes. I can see it's a little bit less on this side. As you can see, more of that gray sticks out on the left side here. But again, I can always fix this after the fact. Not a big deal. And moving on to the last one. All right, and there we go. We got the bottom piece on there, as you can see. Brazier logo is still not covered up or hidden. The only thing that I wish, I wish the top one was a little bit farther down so it was more cohesive around the logo, because as you can see, this one almost touches the logo down here, and then it goes up here. So that's really the only downside to it. Otherwise, I really like the look of it. It's got a cool, like, dotted pattern, and obviously it is a lot more textured, so a lot more grip. Like even feeling it in my hand, it, it feels like a basketball is like the best way to describe it with the texture. But I can definitely tell this is going to help in the long run when it comes to high intensive gaming or if you're playing for long sessions at a time and your hands start getting clammy, you're not going to have that issue anymore of it slipping off of the grip. So very, very nice. So I think Grazer did a pretty good job with this and they didn't really overprice it. I think 10 bucks is a pretty decent price for some added grip to your mouse. It is perfectly cut out for the mouse intended. And I think they did a really good job. So yeah, if you want to go check it out again, I'll have a link in the description below. Hope you liked the video. Leave a like, share your support as always. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.